Hello you guys and welcome. Now, I actually filmed this video a few days ago and I accidentally deleted the file off of my SD card so we're doing this again. Today I'm going to be talking about my current drugstore favorites. These are all products I use pretty much every single day. They're affordable and you get them at the drugstore so they're easy to find. We're just going to go right in. Um, the first thing we're going to talk about is a hair related product. We're going to talk about this L'Oreal Magic Root cover-up. I got mine in the color red because I recently dyed my hair red. And what this is going to do, it's going to cover your roots like in between coloring and it's going to cover your grays. So I actually need to do this right now because my grays are popping. Okay, so I like the applicator. It's like really fine um, and it doesn't tend to go all over the place. So That's all I do with that. One thing I will say about this product is if you wear sunglasses on your head, beware. Because sometimes I will put my sunglasses on my head and I'll put them on. And then when you take them off, you have these marks right here. So you just want to be careful of that. Um, otherwise, I love this product. It is going to wash out like as soon as you wash your hair. So it's just like a, you know, day thing. Um, but yeah, temporary gray concealer spray. So. I just really like this. It's quick and easy and it does what I need it to do. All right, this next thing we're going to talk about, this sounds so like extra and so not needed, but I really like it. This is from La Roche-Posay Thermal Spring Water and it's just a spray and it's just pretty much water. But what I like to do with this, you know, I know it has good ingredients in it, so it's like doing something for you, but what I like to do with it after I cleanse my face, wash it, do my toner, I like to spray this on and then I put on my hyaluronic acid or my moisturizer and I feel like it just lets that moisturizer set in. Um, and they say when you do put on hyaluronic acid, it's better if your skin is a little wet because it like absorbs better. Uh, so that's what I like to do with this. And it's just a nice refresher if you're hot throughout the day or if your skin just feels blah. Spray this on your face and you'll just be glowing again. This next thing, this is... What? I'm obsessed with these sprays. This is the Aquaphor Advanced Therapy Ointment Body Spray. I have been using this for years. It's almost gone. Um, I just love this stuff. So what I like to do with this at night after I've done all of my skincare and I'm ready to get into bed, I will spray some of this onto my hands and just like pat it all over my face. And it just holds in all like the skincare that I just applied and it's going to let everything do its magic overnight. Another thing this is good for is just a spray on your arms. I don't want to get this in my hair, but you spray it on and just kind of rub it in and it gives your skin a nice hydrated glow. It just It's really good to use after the shower too. Just makes your skin feel really, really hydrated. The thing we're going to talk about is from CeraVe. This is their hydrating foaming oil cleanser. I need to get another one. This is so good. This is how I wash my face every day. It takes off all my makeup. I keep this in the shower. Your skin's already a little bit damp. Just squirt a little bit of this in your hands, rub it together, and you just kind of rub it all over your face. It gets rid of my eye makeup and everything. And a lot of times what I'll do is I'll wash it twice with this. So I'll do the first time I get all the makeup off and then I'll maybe I'll wash my hair and then I'll do another round of this. And your face just feels so clean. And when you get out, like even when your skin is dry, my skin looks so glowy. It's pretty crazy. Uh, squalene oil, hyaluronic acid, three essential ceramides. So it's really, really good for your skin. All right, the next thing we're going to talk about, this is L'Oreal Paris Sublime Bronze Tinted self Tanning Lotion. I got mine in the color medium. So I have used so many different sunless tanners. I did just use up two that I really, really enjoyed, but I wanted something different, which different that I haven't used in a long time. And the cool thing about this is that it's, so it's tinted, you can see where you put it on, and it has a shimmer. So, and the smell is really nice. Okay. So if you can see, it's pretty shimmery. Um, I need to wash this off, otherwise I'm gonna have one tan hand. Um, but it's just a really pretty color, and you could definitely see like where I applied it. But this used to be like my go-to tanner and I just decided to go back to it and try it again because it's so good. All right, the next thing we're going to talk about, this is my new favorite mineral sunscreen. It is a hydrating mineral sunscreen, sunscreen from CeraVe 30 Face Sheer Tint. So it's got an SPF of 30 and it's got a tint to it. So if you guys have ever heard of this, if you guys have ever seen the Dermatology one, the Universal Tinted Moisturizer, I wanted to love this. I hate it. It smells. This thing smells like old makeup. 
I don't know if I just got a bad batch. It smells so bad. I wasted like $45 on this and this thing is 14 so this is so much better. Um, it says non-greasy feel. It does, it leaves your skin looking dewy. If you have oily skin, you might not like this, but I have super dry skin, so I love this. It's kind of messy, but I'm just gonna let, put a little bit on here so you guys can see it. I mean, it looks, it looks a lot like makeup. And it just has a really nice tint to it, and it just makes my skin feel so hydrated. All right, so the next thing I want to talk about is this is Neutrogena Healthy Skin Anti-Aging Perfector. So it's kind of like a, it's kind of like a foundation, but I got the color Light to Neutral 30. Uh, it's a moisturizing retinol treatment. So not only is this going to be like a foundation, but it also has skincare benefits to it as well. Uh, and it has an SPF of 20. So if I use my 30 and then follow it up with this, I think I'm safe for the day. Uh, but it's just a really lightweight. Uh, I don't want to call it a foundation, but they're just calling it an anti-aging perfector. So yeah, it is just going to perfect your skin, make your skin look really flawless. And I love that it has the retinol in it and it has the nice skincare benefits as well. All right, I got two more makeup products. So first we're going to talk about the L'Oreal True Match Hyaluronic Acid and Caffeine. Oh, I didn't realize it had caffeine in it. This is a concealer. I got mine in the color N3 Light Medium and I love the applicator. This is like my new favorite concealer. I use this every day. I just love the applicator. It goes on so easy. It fits so nice and like right in your eye creases, like where I get the really dark circles. And it's just a really pretty, really nice finish. And it makes my skin, like it doesn't dry out my skin. I'm 43, so like I need stuff that's hydrating under my eyes because I feel like they start to look really dry, crepey. So this stuff works so well. So random. So affordable. This is from Essence, the Lash Princess. This is the Curl and Volume Mascara, and it's five dollars, you guys, but it's so good. Uh, I just got mine in the color black. If you look at the applicator, it reminds me of the Lash Paradise one from L'Oreal, and that's like I don't know, maybe like fifteen dollars. So this one is so good. It's only four ninety nine. I swear by this one. They have a bunch of different other ones, but I like this applicator the best. And yeah, for five bucks, can't go wrong. Okay, so I have three more things. The next thing, this is Aquaphor. This is just their lip respair, respair, <laughs> their lip repair stick and sunscreen. So there's kind of two uses for this. So this is just a lip balm, like put it on your lips. But what I've been seeing people do is they put it under their eyes before they apply concealer and it's supposed to make it so your concealer doesn't crease and so it stays super hydrated under your eyes. Uh, like I said, I'm a little, I'm in my 40s so I like to keep the under eye um, hydrated. I haven't really used it under the concealer because I, by the time I do my, the sunscreen and everything, I feel like my skin's pretty hydrated so I have yet to try it. But let me know if you guys have tried this little hack. All right, so to finish off your face, this is from e.l.f. Skin Sun Touchable. This is all set for skin. It's a 45 broad spectrum sun protection and setting spray. So my skin is going to be protected, let me tell you. So yeah, this is just a setting spray, but it has an SPF as well. But I will say, so kind of has like a sunscreeny scent to it. I don't mind it, uh, but you do want to be careful that you don't get this in your eyes because if you ever had like sunscreen spray in your eyes and it just kind of burns, um, yeah, you definitely want to be careful with that. So what I usually do is I'll just spray it on and then I'll dab it with my beauty blender just to like set it in place. But this is how I like to finish off my look, uh, just to pre protect my skin even more from the sun out here. The last thing I'm going to talk about, this was not even in my other video, but I just recently got it and used it. This is my new razor and I'm obsessed with it. So I don't know if you guys have seen these, like I feel like they're all over the place. Uh, it's the Billy razor. So I actually bought this kit. It came with this little razor. It came with the little thing that the magnetic thing that you keep it on. I have it up in my shower. And then it came with one other little, um, a refill. You guys, this is the best shave I've had in years. So I used to use the Chic Fab, 
which is the one where you could go either direction. Well, they stopped. I cannot find the refills anywhere. So I bought this. I am blown away by this. Like my legs are so smooth. I don't know if I've just been using really cheap crappy razors in the past, but this is so good. And the whole kit was only like nine bucks. So super affordable and they have some really cute ones. I saw a Barbie one the other day at Target. Um, so these are so good. Best shave I've had in a long time. Highly recommend these. All right, you guys, that is all I have. I hope I didn't forget anything that I filmed in my last video. I don't remember. Anywho, I hope you guys enjoyed this and found it helpful. Let me know if any of these products are your favorites as well. And we will see you on my next video. Bye.